Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to the typed JS plugin in Div Hunt. So this is just going to create a nice little effect, which deletes types, and there's a whole bunch of different settings. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, the first thing we're going to need to do is head on over to our settings, go down to plugins, and then find type JS, which at the moment is over here, which is bound to change. Just hit install. I've already done so. Once you've done that, go back to the builder and just wait a few seconds. It will refresh and then you're good to go. It is installed. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is pick our element and this will work on any text element. So this one, for example, this is a nice little span that currently says Facebook ads. Let's go ahead and click that, go over to content, go to transform and then go ahead and select typed animation. So we're done. I'm kidding. Well, it works. But we do have a lot of different settings that we can change, so let's get into those right now. First things first, we have speed. So, 100 is probably fairly normal, gives people enough time to read it, but you may have a different idea. So let's go ahead and set this to 500, for example. And it's very slow. Now, if you want to be 50, be very fast, you can do that. Let's go ahead and set this back to 100, because it is our favorite. There we go, backspace speed is the same thing, but to emulate real typing, you're probably gonna want the backspace speed to be faster than the typing speed because, well, it's, it's one button. But I'll show you anyways. Let's just set this to the same as the normal speed. And we see it goes like that. And loop. Turns it into a loop, which obviously matters for it being backspace. So let's go ahead and set this back to 50 right there. Don't need to explain loop, I guess, because I just did. The fade effect here is when it's switching between multiple different rows of text, which I will show you in just a sec. Shuffle text is the same thing. And smart backspace is not going to delete the whole thing. It's going to just keep a little bit there. Um, so anyways, with that being said, usually you're not going to want to use this only for this kind of effect. I want to turn this off, by the way. Uh, you're going to want to use it to rotate through a bunch of different things. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a way that would actually make a lot of sense on this site. So right here we have Facebook ads. But if I go ahead and hit enter and then do Google oops, ads, then what we're gonna see is this. It's gonna type Facebook ads, it's gonna delete it, and then it's gonna type Google ads. And then it's gonna go back to Facebook ads and just so on and so forth. Now let's set this to LinkedIn ads and voila. Now we've got a nice little engaging fun headline with different types of ads that this can help me write content for so back over to transform shuffle text right over here is just it's going to make it random just go through in any random order it's not going to be the same order you're probably not going to want to use that but you might so of course we've included the option but yeah i'm going to turn that off so now that we have this enjoy do whatever you want with it and i will talk to you soon